Hi, this is part 13 of ASP.NET. In the last session, we discussed some lab sessions. Today, we'll discuss about different controls like hyperlink button, link button, and image button. In olden classes, we discussed about label, text box, check box, and radio button. Today, we'll discuss about some other controls like hyperlink button, link button, and image button. So, go to new project. There, you can select uh, Visual C sharp language is equal to Visual C sharp, and there you can select the template web ASP.NET web application. Select empty web forms, click on OK. So, we are creating the empty web application. So, hyperlink button means it is used to navigate the request from one page to another page. If you want to navigate the user request between multiple web pages, then we have to use hyperlink button. Similarly, in lot of the websites, you will see home, about us, contact us, these all are hyperlinks only. So, hyperlink button main purpose is to navigate the request from one page to another page. Are you following? So, just navigation. Navigation means just moving from one page to another page. Then we have to use hyperlink button. So, hyperlink button is similar like your HTML anchor tag. It is used to navigate the request either for plain text or for image. Is it clear? So right click on the project, add new item, select web form, add new item. Here you can select web form and the name of that particular web form I will try to give as something like page1.aspx. Is it clear? So click on add button. So just navigating the user request from one page to another web page we have three controls are there hyperlink button link button and image button first of all we'll discuss about hyperlink button minute differences are there between these controls let us see what are those so here you can go to your design window and there you can go to toolbox go to view there you can see toolbox and there you can see hyperlink button is there <coughs> Under standard controls, you can see hyperlink. Just drag and drop the hyperlink button in your design window. Similarly, here you can see I will take one more hyperlink button. So, hyperlink button is used to navigate the request from one page to another page, either for plain text or for emails. So, right click on hyperlink, go to properties. There you can see one property called text. Here I will give the text. I will try to give the text as something like uh, I will try to give some Google. Is it clear? Let us see here. And here I will try to select the hyperlink bold and here I will try to give something like double x large. Now whenever I try to click on this uh, hyperlink it has to open Google page. So here what to do? I will try to open go to browser and try to open Google copy the Google URL and here you can you have one more property called navigate url just paste the url here okay now google.com now press f5 so whenever user clicks on this hyperlink it will go to google website it will be open is it clear just navigation navigation from one page to another page will go for hyperlink button did you understood so here whenever i click on google it will directly go to google page that is called navigation when you take a website, website is collection of web pages. If you want to navigate the request from one page to another page, we have to go for this hyperlink. So here we will see one more. Now if you want to navigate the request for image also, you can navigate. Just go to solution explorer. If you want to add any image in your project, right click on the project, add new folder. Rename the folder as images. So here right click on images folder add existing item you can select any image from your browser so here you can see go to desktop there i have one folder with the name some bgm there i can see some image so i will uh, select one image here now that image is available in your images folder this is just navigation only just if you observe the video and practice you will get go to properties here you have two properties one is image url property it is used to select the image that you want to display. Select image, one dot jpg. Now whenever user clicks on this image, it has to open my YouTube channel. So I will try to go to YouTube and there I will try to type uh, Kannababu here. 
Is it clear? Here you can type Kanna Babu. Is it clear? I will try to give the URL. Okay, now just I will try to go, select the image, right click, go to properties. There you can see navigate URL. Here paste the URL. Press F5. Just moving from one page to another page. Okay, now within the website or outside the website. Navigation means just moving from one page to another page. Is it clear? Now here let us see when I click on this image, it will go to another page. Lot of websites you will see. It will open my channel. All of you subscribe this channel. Okay. And uh, similarly, here you can see this is my, my hyperlink button. Hyperlink button just for navigation. If you want to navigate the course within the same page also, you can do. Go to toolbox. And here you can drag and drop one more hyperlink if you want. Okay. Here you can take one more project. Add new item. Select web form. The name I will try to give as home.aspx. Home.aspx. Click on add button. Here within the div tag I will write welcome to home page. Is it clear? Here I will try to write welcome to home page. Something like this. This is my design. Now go to your page1.aspx. Right click on hyperlink. Go to properties. Text you can give home. And here you have one more property called navigate URL. Navigate URL, I will try to give home.aspx. Is it clear? Here I will try to give navigate URL, home.aspx. So within the website, it will navigate to another page. Home navigate URL, select this ellipse button, then click on OK. Now whenever user clicks on home, it will go to home page. Navigation means just moving from one page to another page. So hyperlink button is used to navigate the request from one page to another page. When you click on home, it will go to home page. Similarly, link button. Link button means what? Let us see. Let us see what is this link button. Generally, in some websites, you can see, I want to display the employee details here. Let us assume that data is coming from the database. I want to display the data in the front end. Okay. So here I want to display. This is my browser. In browser, I want to display the data in the form of table. Or in future, we will learn about grid view control. Here I have some data 101, here Anil, here some 20,000, here 102, here Sunil, here I have something like some 30,000. Some data is stored in the, displayed in the HTML table. That is, this is your browser actually to display the data. And here what you do, this is your HTML table, something like this. Are you following? So here what I want to do means, here I want to display the data in the front end. So within this uh, table only, I want to keep some delete button. Here I will keep some delete button. Is it clear? So this is your delete. And here I will try to take some edit button. Within this table only, I will display some edit button. Okay. So this is edit. So what is my requirement? Whenever user clicks on delete, I want to delete this record. In order to do that one, I have to write some code. So double click on this. This is link button actually. Which button? Link button. So whenever you want to write any logic, then you have to double click on this link button and write the code. But you cannot double click on hyperlink. See the difference between hyperlink and link button. Hyperlink just for navigation from one page to another page. If you want to navigate from one page to another page, we'll use hyperlink button. If you want to perform any operation when user clicks on this button, then you have to go for link button. Similarly, double click on edit button and you have to write some code. That is the difference between link button and hyperlink. Both looks like similar actually. Double click on hyperlink. You cannot double click hyperlink. Just you have to set the property navigate URL. For example, if I go to toolbox and if I try to drag and drop the link button, you can double click on link button and write the code. <coughs> Is it clear? That is the difference between navigation and post back. Link button will post back the request to the server. And whenever user clicks on this link button, you, if you want to perform some operation, like normal button, double click on the link button and write the code. Hyperlink just for navigation. Is it clear? And coming to image button. Go to toolbox, drag and drop image button. And if you want to display any image, Right click on the image button, go to properties, there you can see image URL, select the image.
from images folder and here uh, double click on image button and write the code at the time of developing the application different scenarios are there if you want to just uh, display the image in the browser go for image tag is there image control is there purpose is only display the image when user clicks on image you want to navigate to another page go for hyperlink when user clicks on image you want to navigate to another page go for hyperlink when user uh, clicks on text you want to navigate to another page go for hyperlink when user clicks on hyperlink you want to perform some operation go for link button you want to write some logic when user clicks on image button you want to write some logic go for image button so different scenarios are there depending on the requirement as a developer you must know when to use which one hyperlink button just for navigation from one page to another page either for plain text or for image link button is used to perform some operation to write some logic image button also to perform some operation this is how you can work with these three buttons that are available hyperlink button link button and image button if your requirement is used to just display the photo then you can go for what uh, image control if your requirement is when user clicks on uh, uh, hyperlink it has to go to another page go for hyperlink when user clicks on link button you want to write some logic Hy when user clicks on hyperlink you want to execute some logic go for link button for example in facebook you will click on your friend profile picture then automatically it will open his uh, profile or you take in amazon or flipkart you will select any item when you select any item it will go to the database get the details of that item like price the description of that item and everything that type of code you write inside the image button so uh, in asp.net we have all the flex facilities is given one is image control other one is hyperlink control another one is link button another one is image button so as a developer you must know when to use which one for more videos try to subscribe to this channel